It's Eudora again. Thank you for staying tuned to Demoiselle. Thank you guys for all your comments and contributions and all the love you guys are showing for the group. And I hope you guys have had the chance to check out our new blog, www.demoiselleGH.tumblr.com. It has a few more tips and extra stuff you might want to know, especially in terms of style. Um, we've geared that blog more towards those aspects of style and health but there are some beauty tips and so forth on there so also be sure to check it out and also on Twitter follow us at um, Demoiselle GH on Twitter so today I'm gonna do a short haul of some stuff I got from H&M and Forever 21 and some other random places and then I'm gonna do um, my September video uh, favorites video. Um, I'm just gonna add my September favorites to this as well. So I'm gonna start out with the clothes and stuff that I got. So first, I want to show you guys this. Um, this I got from H and M. And one thing I love, like when, in terms of earrings, like most days I don't wear anything but studs because I feel like studs are very classic. They suit any outfit. Um, they're simple and studs give you the chance to kind of do a lot more with your outfit without overdoing it like on your face or to do a lot more with your makeup like without overdoing it like to wear like really big earrings and then you know put on maybe like a bright red lipstick kind of does too much sometimes so studs are really classic I wear them every day so I've used two of these and they come in different sizes and they have like the silver and the black as well so you could like mix and match and they're really cute, especially if you have a lot of piercings. So I got this, and this is just like $6 at H&M. Um, next, I'm going to show you some skirts I got from H&M and Forever 21. So I am a big fan of color blocking. And, well, I never used to be. I always stuck to, like, my blacks and browns. But more and more, I'm trying to mix up my outfits and add some color to my outfits and color block you know just be a little bit more bolder with my colors and such so I got a bunch of skirts from Forever 21 and H&M and I'm going to show you a few of the ones I got um and this one is a midi skirt I got from Forever 21 so I think midi skirts are really cute really sexy especially if you rock them with like a, you know a tight top kind of gives like a figure fitting silhouette you kind of get that feel that kind of Marilyn Monroe feel to your outfit so I got this one it has like lint on it yeah I got this one from Forever 21 I think it was like seven dollars or something and yeah it's just a midi skirt in like a purplish wine kind of color um this from Forever 21 as well it is also a bandeau green skirt and I got a ton of these because skirts, bandeau skirts and are just like perfect for color blocking. They're simple, you just pull them on, you can rock them with like any different type of top. Um, you can make them into two furs with like a tank top, you can make it into a two fur, throw a blazer over it, get a really cute outfit from something so simple. They're so versatile so I got a ton of these. I got it in black because you can never go wrong with a black uh, skirt. With a black skirt, you don't have to worry about like everyone wearing the same thing as you because it's a black skirt. Like it, no one's gonna know where it's from, or what store it's from, or whatever. So it's always black is always classic. You can rock it with anything. I got one in gray. This one is from H and M though. Yeah, this the Forever Twenty One ones were I think the ones I got from Forever Twenty One ran between. I think like six dollars, six fifty and seven fifty. Um, and then these I got from H and M were six dollars each. I got a gray one, and I got a black and white striped one. And I got a bunch of others because in different colors, like brighter colors, because like I said, I'm gonna use them for color blocking and just to like add a bit of color to my outfits because I'm really used to like staying with neutrals and stuff in terms of my outfit. I also got this blazer from Forever 21. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get more into colors. I usually stick to my black blazers, 
but this time I decided okay I'm gonna go red and use it with different outfits to like brighten up like really simple outfits um it's a really loose line blazer I love the inside though because it kind of has the whole satin inside um I'll probably get this in like different colors because I do like it and you know Blazers are amazing in like working up your outfit. They add a different, like a touch of class to any outfit. Like you could wear a pair of jeans and some sandals with a, like a basic satchel bag and just throw on a blazer and it just takes it up from like casual to kind of like chic casual a little bit. So I'm definitely, definitely adding a lot of blazers to my wardrobe in different colors. I'm not sticking to like neutrals or whatever. And in terms of, so that's my Forever 21 and H&M haul. Um, stuff I got from there. Um, I don't live near like a really good mall, so I rarely go shopping. So when I do shop, I really, really shop. So I got a, quite a few other things, but I don't really have time to show you guys everything because I want to go on to my October favorites. So first of all, let me show you guys this app. So I talked about this on um, the blog, the Demoiselle blog, and I found this app. Well, I saw it before, but I think they've kind of like upgraded the way it looks. Um, and it's called Lose It. So this, I can show you what it looks like. So this is the lose yeah okay so it's preparing to run so this is the lose it app and basically what it is it's an app where you can put in yeah so there it is so you can put in like your daily you can add food like food you've eaten and exercise you've done and um you can basically put in a goal so if your goal is maybe to lose i don't know 30 pounds or something and you want to lose a pound a week or two pounds a week you put in your goal and it would tell you okay this is how many calories you have to eat and by this time this is when you should have lost if you like eat this many calories in a day by this time you should have lost that amount so um, each day you would put in like food you ate for like breakfast snacks dinner and the thing I love most about this is you can actually you know you can actually like eat let's say 500 calories a day but the 500 calories you're eating are not the right calories so what I love about this app is that you can actually there's a nutrient section where you can actually see like the breakdown of what it is that you, you're eating day by day so if you're for instance trying to lose weight you would want to eat less carbs um, more protein so you could see like your day-to-day -day averages of like carbohydrates proteins fats, cholesterols, and if your fat is somewhere like 90%, you know you're doing the wrong thing. So you would reduce like your fat intake, increase proteins, reduce carbohydrates accordingly. So I really like the way this app is set up. It already has like, um, like if you add foods, it already has like a whole, you could search for a food, you could scan um, a barcode of a food. If you have like Wi-Fi, you could scan the barcode, you could always... Um, put in make your own like meal recipe and say like how many calories are in what thing and so whenever you wanted to let's say jollof you know this is not going to have like jollof on here or something like that you would just pick that like you'd make your own recipe with the ingredients you put in it and you would pick that up so I really like this I started using it at the beginning of the week so I hope all goes well next is um Revlon Custom Eyes and this is a new eyeshadow that I got. It's what I have on my eyes right now. Um, I really like it. I really, really like it. The only thing I don't like is probably the middle color, which is the highlight color. Because it is a bit shimmery, as you can see. For a highlight, I really don't like shimmer. I prefer a matte color. Um, because it just, a shimmer kind of overdoes it for me. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I do like the other colors though. So that's Revlon Custom Eyes. And this is made for brown eyes in particular. So that's really cool. Um, next is my Maybelline. And this is Sun Baked Nudes. And it's just a set of different like colors. Golden colors, brown colors, tan colors, green colors. And 
I like this because um, you don't necessarily have to wear them together on the palette, but they do have like the bronzes and the golds, which, you know, add a bit of shimmer to your eyes. And my palettes, my other palettes don't have those colors. So I grab this. This um, is NYC Individual Eyes. And when I saw this, I thought it was really cute. It's like $2.99, and I thought it was really cute because it has all the, like, it has the, you can use the, it has, like, the base, the shimmer, um, like, all the different colors for different areas. And then it has an illuminator, which, what the illuminator does is it makes, it can make these colors lighter if you want. So, I did like that about it. I'm not a big fan of the primer. I think it's it doesn't really hold on to the color as it promises, as a primer should. Um, so, not a big fan of the primer. But I like the rest of the stuff. I like the shadows. I like the shades of the shadows. Um, I haven't really used the illuminator. I don't think I will because seeing as I'm dark skinned, I probably won't want anything lighter um, than these colors. I don't know whether I would want to make them any lighter. I do like the way they are. I bought them particularly because they're this dark. And these are for this one is for brown eyes as well. So I got that. Another thing I got were was um an eyebrow pencil from this is also from NYC and it came it's in dark brown and it, there are two of them and it's both an eyeliner and a pencil. So I use that on my eyebrows to define my eyebrows. What else? Okay, now this is my absolute favorite mascara like forget um Revlon lash extension and all that like even Maybelline stiletto I I am a freak for Maybelline stiletto but I am now on Revlon custom eyes mascara and that's what I have on my eyes right now um I really love this because you know how sometimes you have two different mascaras that you have to put on your eyes and you'd have to put on, for instance, a lengthening one and then a volumizing one or you couldn't necessarily get two in one. It's very rare that you're going to get two in one. Well, the amazing thing about this is instead of having to put on like both sides, like the volumizing and the lengthening, this, what it does is um, it has a dial at the bottom and the first part um this part says length and drama and this part says length and definition so you can just switch the dial and what changes is not the what changes is the shape of the brush so it's the shape of the brush that actually changes so as you switch the dial the brushes kind of rotate and do some whole things so it really is really cool my eyelashes look like, I don't think I've ever worn mascara to make my eyelashes look this um, bold. Like, you think I'm wearing a lot of black eyeliner, but I'm really not. It's really my eyelashes that are adding a lot of definition to my eyeliner. Um, I got a whole bunch of lip glosses and lipsticks from e.l.f. $1 each. I really like these ones, and those are the e.l.f. Luscious Liquid Lipstick. They're really, like, you would think, they're more of a, I would say they're more of a lip gloss than a lipstick, but they do give color. Um, they, I do think it doesn't, it's not really last, long lasting, so I would say definitely put on, like, a lip gloss, um, before, I mean, a lip balm before you put on this, because that'll help it last longer and it won't dry out your lips as much, because I found it does dry out the lips. Um, the e.l.f. lipstick, I'm not exactly a fan of. I got a couple of those too. Um, a lot of them have broken really easily. Um, I do like their colors though. So what I usually do is I use the color over, for instance, like a lipstick, for instance, just to add, like, to add color. Like, sometimes you want to mix your lipsticks. Instead of just wearing, like, one color of lipstick, you could really mix up different colors just to create, like, a new total palette of lipsticks for yourself so I will use these to blend and so forth but yeah I think that's about it in terms of the stuff I got for and those are like my my October favorites the eyeshadows and stuff but definitely the Revlon custom eyes mascara is my absolute new favorite of for October my number one favorite for October so thank you guys stay tuned 
check out the blog and follow us on Twitter. Have a great day. Bye, guys.